Well, taking a look at what we're watching here in the First Alert Weather Center, we have a beautiful weekend for Pride in Denver. Warm temperatures, dry, plenty of sunshine after a couple of rocky days and really uh, several soggy weeks in Colorado. It'll be nice to have a good dry weekend. Satellite and radar, we are active down in the southeastern part of the state. We also have a severe thunderstorm warning just to the west of Burlington. So we're not totally clear of the severe weather. We talked about this yesterday, how there would still be the chance of some bigger thunderstorms and those have certainly developed. They are fairly isolated, but they certainly are still out there. And we have a severe thunderstorm watch for the eastern plains through 11 o'clock tonight. So still could see some bigger thunderstorms well into the evening. Future cast for tonight. Again, still have the chance for a couple thunderstorms. Tomorrow morning we wake up to sunshine. It's a beautiful start to the day. And then we do see clear skies. We are looking at maybe no rain tomorrow. We're looking at a, just a gorgeous day out there. A little breezy, especially in the western side of the state and parts of the high country. But overall, it's going to be a beautiful, calm, sunny weekend. So if you want to get outside, this weekend is certainly the weekend to do that. This kind of got lost in the shuffle yesterday with all of the active weather, but our drought monitor was updated yesterday. This is what it looked like one month ago. This is what it looks like as of now. Our state is completely drought free for the first time since 2019. You see a few, a few little uh, yellow areas that are that is abnormally dry conditions, so it's not considered drought. But again, for the first time in almost four years, we have seen a completely free of drought here in Colorado. So all of that moisture has really made uh, quite the impact for us. And we have now entered the wettest June on record in Denver. This happened yesterday with all of the rainfall, or I should say two days ago on Wednesday. Uh, but we didn't get to talk about it yesterday, so we're talking about it today. Uh, so far this month, we've had 5.35 inches of rain. DIA saw almost two inches of rain on Wednesday and just about 16 hundredths of an inch yesterday. So the old record 4.96 from 1882 and we still have a couple days left this month uh, and we could see more next week. Taking a look at our red flag warning, we do see this in place through this evening on the western side of the state. It's warm, it's windy and it has been dry off to the west and here's a look at all that wind. Really gusty from Craig through Cortez. Front range eastern plains not too bad. It is a little gusty with some thunderstorms out in the eastern plains. 83 in Denver right now, 80s and some 90s out uh, to the southeast. 69 in Lamar though where those big thunderstorms are 70s 80s in the high country 68 from our weather watcher Paul Kaplan just northwest of Gunnison and then tomorrow about the same mid 80s for the front range in northeastern plains 90s in the southeast 70s in the high country 70s 80s off to the west Sat uh, Saturday and Sunday of course is pride weekend Sun Sunday morning is the parade kicks off at 9 30 at Cheeseman Park and we're looking at temperatures to be in the mid to upper 60s for the first couple of hours by 11 o'clock in the morning 74 and then on Monday we jump up to 88 degrees. Normal is 86, so this is not too far off from where we should be. Upper 80s for the front range and out east, 90s in the southeast. We'll see some 90s on the western slope as well, and then 70s and 80s in the high country. So again, it's warm out there across the state, but we have been fairly cool, so these temperatures probably feel a little bit warmer uh, than, you know, normal to us. And then we'll in the 80s through next week with storms popping back on Thursday. Like you said earlier, I feel like it's nice to see it look like a lovely summer weekend. Yes, finally. we just need nothing to happen for us. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs>